Yeah, it's my pleasure to be here. Um, the retreat here in Phoenix has been phenomenal. Um, let me say a quick hello to who is here today. Hi, Jean. Hi, Jill. Hi, Jorg. Hi, Lorianne. Hi, Valerie. Um, yeah, the retreat's been extraordinary. It's I can't even describe the power of what it is that's happening here. It's just, oh, it's phenomenal. Both um, Valerie and Jorg are here. Um, JM is going to actually um, join us after... We do something called Shalu in the morning, which is basically like some yoga movement and breathing and chanting, which is just gorgeous. And uh, afterwards at about 8 a.m. here in Phoenix, which will be 10 a.m. on the East Coast, he's gonna come on the morning platform and get a chance to say hi to everybody live. So that'll be a treat. Anyway, um, just a phenomenal experience of one of the things that uh, Yeshua talks about in the way of mastery is about um, allowing God's breath to breathe you. I think he actually starts the conversation in the, the first book that J.M. wrote that's called The Yeshua Letters, about how his whole journey with uh, Jesus started. Anyway, it's just been, it's been phenomenal. He actually tells the story of, um, thanks, Laurie, he tells the story of how uh, Jesus actually stopped him from reading A Course of Miracles. And I've had a very similar experience. It's quite bizarre because it's a very uh, kind of mental, intellectual platform. But here we're having much more of an experience with it. It's like learning something called Love's Breath that transformed the crap out of me. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> All right. Let me read today's lesson, lesson 343. Oh, and the comments that that he's made about Magdalene have just been stunning. So I, I just am loving this journey with her. It's been really, really remarkable. Okay, lesson 343. I am not asked to make a sacrifice to find the mercy and the peace of God. The end of suffering cannot be loss. The gifts of everything can be but gain. You only give, you never take away. And you created me to be like you. So sacrifice becomes impossible for me as well as for you. I too must give. And so all things are given unto me forever and forever. As I was created, I remain. Your son can make no sacrifice, for he must be complete, having the function of completing you. And I am complete because I am your son. I cannot lose, for I can only give and everything is mine eternally. Mercy and the peace of God are free. Salvation has no cost. It is a gift that must be freely given and received. And it is this that we would learn today. There was an extraordinary moment yesterday we were doing a practice that's called Love's Breath. And in the midst of it, you're just breathing and breathing and breathing. And there was a point where I stopped breathing and something was breathing me. And it was God breathing me. And my ego like freaked out. <laughs> it's like, wait a second, take control of that breath again. But that moment of allowing God's breath to breathe me was life transformative for me. I had like a total meltdown over it because there was this place of like my whole life. I've, I've heard, you know, that like God's really the one in charge, but man, my ego has stepped in, up and gone. Uh, 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 I don't think so. I'm the one in charge. You know, and everything that goes with it. But uh, it was quite quite an extraordinary experience. So more on that later. Anyway, All right, here comes Magdalene. Here comes Magdalene. She's been all over this retreat, by the way. It's been really beautiful. Okay, I'm bringing her in. Mm -hmm. 
Greetings, beloveds. Beloveds, if you truly understood that there is nothing that you need do, there is nothing that you need be, there is nothing that you must say, there is nothing that you must have in order to be as you were created, which is with love. You would allow yourselves to begin to unravel all of the ways in which you have constructed an egoic existence that believes in the need for control, that believes in the need for retribution, that believes in the need for you to be some way other than the way that you are. There is no sacrifice that must be made, but yet you look upon this possibility and you think, what I would have to give up my jewels. I would have to give up the things that I love. I would have to change the way that I eat. I would have to change where I lived. I would have to go live in an ashram and meditate every day, and practice yoga. <laughs> Beloveds, all you need do is allow yourself to surrender to the very breath that is breathed through you, the very love of God, the very joy that you are, you would need only be as you were created. For many, this looks to be a sacrifice. It looks like a means of having to give up all of the ways in which you have known your life to be. But beloveds, if you could truly allow yourself to surrender to the grace that God has given you, to know that in each and every moment you are surrounded and you are fulfilled with so much love so much joy and so much pleasure, he would stop trying to scramble to make things occur. He would stop trying to force things to happen. He would truly allow yourselves to surrender to all that is the truth of you. In effect, there is a place where you are holding off or staving off the very pleasure, the very divine pleasure that you have prayed for. And you are the ones that are manifesting this. You think that it is a sacrifice for you to say, I have to give up the need to judge and be righteous. I have to surrender to the love that God is. Mm, love it. You are such precious beings, imbued and filled with so much love. When you truly allow yourself to experience that, God has breathed you into existence and continues to do so when your very desire is to be all and that God has made you when you have come to the realization and to the remembrance of the love that has crafted and shaped your very existence. And you allow yourself to know that the eyes through which you see and the words that come from your lips are touched with the love of the divine. You will forgive yourself for all of the ways in which you have separated yourself from the goodness and the holiness that you are, from the very divinity that you are. And you will allow yourself to be steeped in a love that is so vast and so pure. This is coming for you, beloved. This is coming for each and every one of you. And beloved, as you step in this direction, as you allow God's breath to breathe you, you will find that those around you begin to shift and change. You will begin to understand that there is much of life that was meant for you that is merely waiting. And if you find that there is a struggle for you in being able to surrender to the very love that you are, and that there is some modicum of control that you are still holding on to, for you have only known within the egoic mind this existence that you believe is the structure of who you are. So allow yourself, beloveds, to be willing to make a journey into the unknown. There is nothing that you must give up except for the pain that you have endured and that you have suffered because you have been so attached to what you have known existence to be, which is the realm of the ego. 
when you allow yourself to surrender, when you allow yourself to sink deeply and richly into your heart, you will find the magic there. You will find a joy there. You will find a pleasure there that is your own indeed. So know that you go with my love. Call upon me to assist you. Call upon me to show you the way. Know that you always have at the ready for you the Holy Spirit who will show you and guide you, direct you. Come with grace and humility, beloveds, and ask to be shown. The mind will say, no, no, no. This is the way that we must go. What if there was another path? What if there was another way? I was very blessed to have guidance. I was very blessed to have training, to understand that there was indeed another pathway. Blessing and love to you, beloved ones, for you are precious to me, are precious to God. Call upon any of us for assistance in your blessed and beautiful journey of love. Greetings to you, beloveds, and I will indeed speak with you again. <laughs> Hi, Marianne. Thanks for being here, everybody. I love you guys. Um, I'm heading over to my platform, and then I'm going to take my laptop with me, and uh, we're going to have the pleasure of having J.M. Hammer come and visit us. Thanks, very well. Love you all. See you all again tomorrow.